The scenic nine-hole golf course built for veterans in the 1950s looks perfect now, but not too long ago it was on the verge of being shut down. Unfunded, American Lake Veterans Golf Course was desperate for help. I coached golf for 25 years, so it was just a natural thing for me to come over and, and volunteer to teach the veterans over here. Pepper also began asking friends for financial support. He created a fund that enabled money to go directly to golf course improvements. I got a phone call from Pepper Roberts, and he said I'd like to come out and get involved in American Lake Veterans yeah. Golf Course. I drove out there, and within 10 seconds, I was hooked. Uh, when I saw those guys with prosthesis legs and arms and uh, trying to hit a golf ball, where I have two arms and two legs where I had no problem hitting a golf ball, I was crying. Golf is a mental game. A lot of injuries in the war are mental in in injuries. And so this gives an opportunity for them to have the camaraderie. And every foursome is like a, a small so support group. We have a different uh, volunteer crew on each day from Monday through Friday, and they average in age from 65 to 85. In addition to these volunteers, the course survives with donations from the United States Golf Association. Ken Still enlisted his good friend Jack Nicholas, who recently developed plans to add an additional nine holes. A wonderful gesture on his part to get involved and then design it for free. The selfless acts of all who give are inspired by the men and women who play this course every day. Our purpose is to support those who have sacrificed so much for our behalf and for our safety and liberty. Most of us, as I say, are veterans anyways, and just something to give back to those guys that have done so much for us. Some of them had, had never played golf when they got out here, and, and you get to uh, put a club in their hand and and then pretty soon they're out there volunteering, teaching other people. They, they found a way of getting, getting along with what they got. I guess that's, that's the fun part of it.